Welcome to episode 3 of the BEPS project on the amateur. 15 piano sonatas written by Beethoven between 1795 and 1801, played by moi, a lowly amateur prone to unhealthy obsessions. Subscribe on YouTube or like The Amateur Piano on Facebook and Instagram to follow along as Beethoven gradually eradicates mezzo from my musical vocabulary. Soon, it will be forte and fortissimo, or piano and pianissimo. And that's it. How's it hanging, Hercule? Yeah, I think it must have been some music theory class in, in the 90s where I heard that <clears throat> apparently you can count on one hand the number of mezzo-anythings in Beethoven's entire body of work. Google proved to be completely useless in this case, um, but I casually flipped through volume one of the sonatas and, you know, I didn't find a single mezzo-anything. These third movements in four-movement sonatas are usually little breathers for both the pianist and the listener. Not typically heavy material. This one is a scherzo trio, um, which is basically a sparkly minuet and trio with, that, with the same A, B, A form. The B part being what we call the trio, which is usually a contrasting middle section that bears some similarity to its conjoined minuet. But, but I mean, it's a little fucked up. It's a little bit off, you know? You wouldn't trust it to babysit. But even in the A section, there's a modulation to G sharp minor, which you kind of expect to be. But Beethoven, he, he lubes you up real good. And before you know it, like the procedure is over and you're back in A major. The other fun observation I had here was that, well, after a certain point, I couldn't help but explain that G sharp minor section as Beethoven's way of basically admitting to the world that he'd gotten sick of his own musical idea. I mean, all these but a little us, but a little us. Well, with the repeats, it's like 18 but a little us in a row before he can't take it anymore, and he's like, enough! And that's enough. I am sick, oh yes, I am sick of your crap. I am sick. It. I am sick of your crap and your shit. Yes, I am. I am sick of it. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que tu as pensé de ma petite chanson, Hercule? You know what I appreciate about you, Hercule? It's how demonstrative you are with your emotions.
Shout out to my first two patrons on Patreon, both long-standing providers of emotional support for me. Sincere thanks to you both. With just these two patrons, like already my video editing software is half covered. Just a few more and I'll break even on monthly expenses. So if you'd like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash the amateur and go in for a few bucks. Subscriptions start at three US dollars per month. Plus, on top of the sense of satisfaction that you'll get from supporting uh, an individual zero budget creator like myself, you'll get access to content that's been stripped clean of all of these appeals to like and subscribe. And bonus content. Although, don't quite know yet what that will be, but I've got some ideas. Note that I am extremely suggestible, especially to people who give me money. So there's that angle as well. And importantly, patrons are future-proofed from ads. Already, YouTube reserves the right to serve ads for wonderful products that all of us need, like Ford pickup trucks and uh, gluten-free dog food. On small channels like mine, they give 0% of the ad revenue to the channel. And frankly, I can't really bear the idea of YouTube unilaterally choosing when to interrupt content that I painstakingly put together uh, with hemorrhoid cream ads. So if you enjoy my stuff, pretty please go to patreon.com slash the amateur and become one of my patrons. Thanks again for watching. Merci beaucoup. Gracias a todos. And until we live in a world free of content exploitation, it remains important for you to like The Amateur Piano on Facebook and Instagram. And by all means, subscribe on YouTube and share liberally with your friends. See you next time when I play the final movement of this sonata, the rondo, which I really can't wait to share with you. It's by far my favorite movement in this sonata and probably in my top five for the Beps. So stay tuned. Thank you.